here's a couple steps I'm going to take to get here. The first is I'm just going to section off my hair. All right, cool. So that is how I combine my locks. Hey y'all, welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl, Lolo. Today I will be showing you how I'm gonna combine my locks. I am gonna combine four of my locks into two locks. Currently I have 74 locks in my head. I first started my locks in November of 2020 with 74 locks, but I have decided that since a couple of my locks are thinner around my edges, specifically on my temples, which is very common, um, I didn't really want to keep that thinness. So if you wanna see how I combine my locks, then keep watching. First, I'm gonna show which locks I'm gonna be combining and why I'm combining them. So if you look at the front of my hairline, push these back. Around the temples, I have pretty thin edges. So up close and personal, you can see that the, I have really, really thick new growth everywhere. But on these temples, it's just, you know, thick new growth at the root. And then you get here. And then it just gets kind of thin right in here. See? And some points it kind of, it can look like it's holding on by a thread. And then at the end, it just gets larger. I don't want my locks to keep going and getting longer and longer and then it's weaker at the roots and then eventually as the locks get longer they're going to weigh down the hair at the roots so you have to have a strong foundation the same is true for the locks on this side or the lock on this side it's not as thin as the one on the other side but it's pretty much still the same concept thin at the root and then at the end it gets a lot thicker bunching and whatnot so again my locks are almost all the way mature i would say i started with two strand twists and even though you can still see the two strand twist pattern on some of my locks and some of them are still bumpy my locks are very much mature so i think it is pretty safe to say that if I want to combine some of my locks, then I can do that. Or you can really do it at any stage, I guess. But I guess some stages it may be safer than others. I just want to know that I'm not a professional. So whatever I do in this video is really, number one, I don't know, you can take it as entertainment. And then number two, it's not really instruction, which is why this video won't be titled How to Combine Locks. It will simply just be me combining my locks, one year old, one year and two months old. So again, the only locks that I will be combining is these two. I'm gonna be combining these two on this side. And then just to even it out, I'm just gonna combine these two on this side. There's a couple steps I'm gonna take to get here. The first is I'm just gonna section off my hair. So the way that I'm going to combine my locks is kind of a method that is really comprised of like three or four methods that I've seen on YouTube of other people combining their locks and I just combined a whole bunch of methods of combining. So I've never really seen anybody do it like this but the way I'm going to do it just makes the most sense for my hair. So I'm only going to use a spray bottle that has distilled water in it and a crochet needle like this. First, I'm going to 
I'm gonna do this side first. So I have semi free foam locks, which to me means that I do not, I don't separate my locks with a comb usually, like a rat tail comb. I don't perfect my parts. I don't make my parts look all crisp and neat. I also don't retwist my hair. I simply, maybe every two weeks or every four weeks or every month, I will two strand twist my hair. And in that process, my hair gets separated naturally. But I don't retwist my hair anymore. I used to at the beginning, but because I don't retwist my hair, I don't have defined parts anymore. Even though I started with a kind of um, brick layering parting system, but I want to make sure that when I combine these two, the foundation that I started with still remains. So I'm about to do as much parting as I can just to make sure, just with my hands, my fingertips, just to make sure that the original parting system that I have for my locks stays there just in general spread some distilled water on my my roots and by the way i'm starting with completely dry hair i just washed my hair the other day so my hair is pretty clean i'm just gonna part it with my fingers in the best way that i know how to be honest that's good with me and then i'm going to take my crochet needle i'm going to first combine my locks at the root of the lock i'm going to take the crochet needle this is what the crochet needle looks like a lot of people usually use this type of crochet needle usually for doing like faux locks or instant locks i'm going to open this latch right here and what I'm going to do is put this hook, I'm going to put it through the larger lock. Hope you can see that. I'm going to put it through like so. Again, I'm going to make sure the latch is open like that. And I'm going to take the smaller lock, put it through here, close the latch and then I'm going to pull it through. There we go. All right, I'm going to take this off. So now you see that I combined them at the root. I'm just going to pull the smaller lock all the way through. All right, cool. Now they're kind of combined at the root. As you can see that, that's pretty cool. All right, next step, I'm going to spray some more distilled water on the rest of this section because it just feels right to me. Then I'm going to two strand twist these locks. I'm gonna take both of them and I'm going to twist them. Twist, twist, twist. So I'm gonna like twirl them and then start two strand twisting. So I'm gonna twist, two strand twist, twirl, two strand twist, twirl, two strand twist. And then keep doing that until I get to the bottom. All right, now I have the two pieces, the two ends. So again, I'm gonna go through the the larger one make sure the latch is open on the crochet hook put the hook through like so take the smaller one put it on the hook close that latch and then pull it through the larger one here we go here's my combined lock now i've just turned two into one and it took less than what like 10 minutes pretty cool huh so i basically just used the two strand twist method and the crochet method to combine my locks the reason why i'm doing it this way is because it feels a lot more safer than taking that like crochet hook where you go through the lock and just keep on going through it 
um if you watch other lock other videos on combining locks and you know what i mean you take the really really small hook you just like go through the go through the lock until the hairs combine with the lock next to it and um i've seen that method and i considered doing that but the number one felt a lot more tedious and number two just didn't feel necessary for me to do that when i could do the two strand twist method and it just feels a lot more safer and less harsh on my locks and two strand twists are really natural this is how i started my individual locks so i know it's gonna lock pretty nicely with the two strand twists so now that i did it on this side i'm gonna then do it on the other side with these break separate make sure i have all the sections in place or as in place as they're gonna get for me and Kind of don't really care that's kind of the point of freeform locks or semi freeform locks at least take the larger lock put the crochet hook through the root like so i'm going to take the end of this lock and put that end on the crochet hook close the hook i mean close the latch and then just pull it through There you go, and then pull the rest of the lock through. Alright, cool. We're attached at the root. Spring the rest. And two strand twist. And when I'm two strand twisting, I'm not really pulling, but I'm getting a good grip, if that makes sense. Because I do want the two locks to be very close to each other. I'm trying not to pull or put tension on it. Or unnecessary tension, of course. Once we get, you know, very much near the end. Just hold it in place for a second. While I get my crochet hook. I'm gonna go through the larger lock with the hook. I'm gonna go through, go through the larger lock. And try to get through the middle of the lock. Kind of like I am here now. Kind of in the middle of the lock. Take the smaller lock, put the end on there, and then pull it through. Now it's like the smaller lock is inside of the larger lock and now they're combined here is it at the root really really close up so you can see at the root how it is combined here you see the rest of the lock and how it is intertwined and here's the right side of my head Same thing at the root. What? Intertwined. All right, cool. So that is how I combine my locks. Take the rest of my hair down. And so now it will kind of just blend right in. Doesn't look out of the ordinary or anything. And you know, I started my locks with two strand twists. So even when you do the two strand twist method to combine your locks, it still doesn't look too much out of place when that's how you started in the first place. Especially if your locks aren't super cylindrical or you maybe don't retwist or you do have semi freeform locks as well. And it's kind of easy to just blend in, especially if they're at the temples of your head like me. Most of my hair just covers the temples anyway so yeah that is how i did it before i had 74 locks now i have 72 and i actually did try to combine my locks earlier on in the week um it was directly after i had washed my hair so my hair was still you know really really damp and i tried i just tried to do the regular two strand twist method and my locks just didn't stay in place of course but i thought they were going to stay in place because my hair was soaking wet but by the time that it dried the twists just unraveled themselves but i'll insert some pictures on the side of 
what that did look like on each side of my head. But this method is uh, for me a lot more safe than other combining methods and it is just a lot more foolproof. I don't think they will fall out. I think they are, you know, really in there. They are locked in, they're not going anywhere. And if they do go anywhere, I can just, you know, crochet them back in with no problem at all. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, I'm sending peace your way, love your way, enjoy to you, your family, and your friends. All right, y'all. Peace.